O let the Son of God enfold you With His Spirit and His love Let Him fill your heart and satisfy your soul O let Him have the things that hold you And His Spirit like a dove Will descend upon your life and make you whole Jesus, oh Jesus Come and feed your lambs Jesus, oh Jesus Come and feed your land. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and an ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fountain of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Most merciful Jesus, you yourself have said that you desire mercy, so I bring into the abode of your most compassionate heart the souls in purgatory, souls who are very dear to you, and yet who must make retribution to your justice. May the streams of blood and water which gushed forth from your heart put out the flames of purgatory, that they too, the power of your mercy, may be celebrated. Eternal Father, turn your merciful gaze upon the souls suffering in purgatory who are enfolded in the most compassionate heart of Jesus. I beg you, by the sorrowful passion of Jesus, your Son, and by all the bitterness with which his most sacred soul was flooded, manifest your mercy to the souls who are under your just scrutiny. Look upon them in no other way, but only through the wounds of Jesus, your dearly beloved Son. For we firmly believe that there is no limit to your goodness and compassion. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, 
the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. During this Divine Mercy Novena, on each decade, we will pray for various needs caused by the outbreak of the coronavirus. A suitable scripture verse is quoted before each decade, claiming God's word. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, ask whatever you will, and it shall be done for you. The first decade. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those infected by the coronavirus and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those taking care of coronavirus victims and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those researching for a cure for the coronavirus and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those who have lost loved ones due to the coronavirus and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those who feel that God is punishing them and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those who are in some form of agony and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those who do not have the ability to persevere and have given up and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those who choose to look at the negative rather than the positive and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those whose livelihood has been affected by the coronavirus, especially daily wage workers and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all who have the grace to persevere in prayer and on the whole world. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, I believe you have received it and it will be yours. The second decade. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those who are being ostracized because of the coronavirus and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those undergoing tests and awaiting results and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those sick in hospital and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those undergoing surgery and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those who need hope to live responsibly, mindful of others and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those who are world leaders who need to unite to fight the coronavirus and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those who are fearful about the future and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those in government and authority, taking care of the situation and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those affected by panic and worry and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those in places experiencing lockdown and on the whole world. Amen, amen, I say to you. Whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Until now, you have not asked anything in my name. Ask and you will receive, so that your joy will be complete. The Third Decade Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins 
and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those who are healthcare workers and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those stranded away from home and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all hospital staff who are finding it difficult to cope with the situation and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those carrying burdens and worry and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those who need to comply with government advisory and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those priests and religious who have to work with the coronavirus patients and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those finding life difficult in the present situation and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those who are experiencing emotional and mental pain and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those who cannot experience God's grace and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those children who are confined at home and need to channelize your energy constructively and on the whole world. And we have this confidence in him that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us in regard to whatever we ask, we know that what we have asked him for is ours. The Fourth Decade Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all pregnant women and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those currently in financial difficulties and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those who are lonely and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those who are abandoned and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those who have no one to look after them and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those who have lost jobs and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those who are elderly and with weak immune systems and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those who suffer broken families and children who are orphaned and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those that need to be sensitive about posting on social media and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those who need hope in difficult situations and on the whole world. Again, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. The Fifth Decade Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those finding it difficult to get over the loss of a loved one and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those who seek financial stability for the country and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those who have lost all hope and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those who are critically ill and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those who can't forgive and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those who are in quarantine and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 
have mercy on all those in need of sufficient testing kits and medicines and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those who have to work in spite of the present situation and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those who need to be lifted up in all situations and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on all those in need of God's healing touch and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Litany of Praises of the Divine Mercy Our response is, I trust in you. Together, I trust in you. Divine Mercy gushing forth from the bosom of the Father, I trust in you. Divine Mercy, greatest attribute of God, I trust in you. Divine Mercy, incomprehensible mystery, I trust in you. Divine Mercy, fountain gushing forth from the mystery of the Most Blessed Trinity, I trust in you. Divine Mercy, unfathomed by any intellect, human or angelic, I trust in you. Divine mercy from which wells forth all life and happiness, I trust in you. Divine mercy better than the heavens, I trust in you. Divine mercy source of miracles and wonders, I trust in you. Divine mercy encompassing the whole universe, I trust in you. Divine mercy descending to earth in the person of the incarnate word, I trust in you. Divine mercy which flowed out from the open wound of the heart of Jesus, I trust in you. Divine mercy enclosed in the heart of Jesus for us and especially for sinners, I trust in you. Divine Mercy, unfathomed in the sacred host, I trust in you. Divine Mercy, in the founding of Holy Church, I trust in you. Divine Mercy, in the sacrament of Holy Baptism, I trust in you. Divine Mercy, in our justification through Jesus Christ, I trust in you. Divine mercy accompanying us through our whole life, I trust in you. Divine mercy embracing us especially at the hour of death, I trust in you. Divine mercy endowing us with immortal life, I trust in you. Divine mercy accompanying us at every moment of our life, I trust in you. Divine Mercy shielding us from the fire of hell, I trust in you. Divine Mercy in the conversion of hardened sinners, I trust in you. Divine Mercy astonishment for angels, incomprehensible to saints, I trust in you. Divine Mercy unfathomed in all the mysteries of God, I trust in you. Divine mercy lifting us out of every misery, I trust in you. Divine mercy source of our happiness and joy, I trust in you. Divine mercy in calling us forth from nothingness to existence, I trust in you. Divine mercy embracing all the works of his hands, I trust in you. Divine mercy, crown of all God's handiwork, I trust in you. 
divine mercy in which we are all immersed. I trust in you. Divine mercy, sweet relief for anguished hearts. I trust in you. Divine mercy, only hope of despairing souls. I trust in you. Divine mercy, repose of hearts, peace amidst fear. I trust in you. Divine mercy, delight and ecstasy of souls. I trust in you. Divine mercy, inspiring hope against all hope. I trust in you. Closing prayer. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Yeah.